Hey Kinder Friends, back with another story today. Today we are going to read I Wanna Iguana. I don't want an iguana. I don't like lizards. I don't like snakes. But I know there are some boys in my class that love lizards. So I thought that they would probably like this book that's all about an iguana. I Wanna Iguana. Written by Karen Kaufman Orloff and illustrated by David Cattro. Dear Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mikey Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky and Stinky's dog Lurch will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm so glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Nice try, though. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, do you know that iguanas are really cute? And really quiet? I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Love your adorable son, Alex. Dear Alex, tarantulas are quiet too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, Mom. I wouldn't want a tarantula for a pet or an iguana for a pet. Dear Mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's even so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, Iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. That's even longer than Mrs. Lau. I'm only five feet one inches. That's 11 inches taller than Mrs. Lau. Iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Oh boy, who do you think is gonna win this debate? Alex? Or Alex's mom. Dear mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me, I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love your smart and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six-foot-long reptile? Love, your concerned mother. Dear Mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana could be the brother I've always wanted. Love, your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love, Mom. He already has a brother. Oh, my goodness. Dear Mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby, and what fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it to do tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out, Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class fish? Ooh, that doesn't look so good. But there's all the waters on the table. I wonder where the fish went. Uh-oh. Dear Mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken the cover off the jar. Love, your son who has learned his lesson. Iguanas. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. 
Dear Alex, let's say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, Mom. Dear Mom, I would feed him every day and he eats lettuce. And I would make sure he had enough water and I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Dear Alex, a trial basis means Dad and I can see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can have him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, we're in trouble. Dear Mom, I really, really, really try to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyways? Love, Alex the Financial Wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom. I want an iguana, please. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Do you think that he's going to own up to all of his responsibilities and do a good job taking care of that iguana? Remember, sometimes we want to get a new pet, but pets come with a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of things you have to do to take care of pets. So if you ask your grown-ups for a pet and they tell you no, remember, it's probably for the best. Grown-ups are pretty smart people and they know what your household and your family can handle and what they can't. So if you ask your grown-ups for a pet and they tell you no, just be okay with that. And just remember, someday, when you're old like Mrs. Lau, and the old lady, and you have your own house, then you can decide if getting a pet is right for you. When I was growing up, we didn't have many pets at all. But now that I'm a grown up, we have two guinea pigs, two of them, Lily and Lulu. And you know what? They poop a lot and they smell sometimes. I probably won't buy another guinea pig anytime soon. Bye friends.